Hey folks, welcome to what should be the final video of Let's Play Tales of Asperia with Mysterious JG. Um, made a couple more Rebirth dolls uh, in Synthesis and just tweaked uh, Yuri's skills and I'm basically ready to take a crack at 200 man melee. Uh, upon successfully completing this, if hopefully I can do it in this one shot, um, that's going to be the LP, folks. Oh, you know, I should actually check my skills, which I didn't do. Uh, Lone Wolf Storm, Azure Edge. You know, there's probably better stuff than Azure Edge. Or not Azure Edge, excuse me. Shining Fang is the one I really... I've used it so many times. It's not one of the ones that anybody ever recommends. Shining Dragon Sword. A combination of Shining Fang and Dragon Swarm. That's probably it. We'll go with that. So, Azure Edge, good for range. Lone Wolf Storm, I kind of liked. It was knocking stuff over pretty good. Guardian Field is your cheap and easy way to heal. Shining Dragon Swarm, he's used it 900 times. So, although I used uh, Shining Dragon like a thousand times, I think this is one that the uh, AI actually prefers. <sighs> Whatever, man. It's So, the hut, he's at level 112. Um... The 100-man um, melee is supposed to be cake if you get close to level 99, which obviously it kind of was. So let's, let's see. See the show. Have a go. Beat your boss. 100-man melee. Currently accepting applications. You want to give it a go. The mysterious 200-man melee. Oh, the 200-man the melee? You're really going to do it? Yeah. I see, the mysterious 200-man melee. I'd like to see that myself. It's very mysterious how we can have this set up if none of us knows how it would work. Because presumably we've got 200 opponents ready for you. Who will be participating? Yuri. If it doesn't work with Yuri, uh, I'm thinking either uh, Rita or, as ridiculous as this sounds, Estelle using the invincibility tricks. The only other way I could think to do it. But uh, Yuri seems like it would be the cleanest, most fun way to do it. Will Yuri be participating? Yes. All right, good luck out there, Star. What the hell ever. Uh, what am I not doing? I'm not following uh, the advice I saw in Game Facts to avoid uh, weapons with elemental attributes, but I do know, of course, that I can switch away. Uh, because this weapon just does so much more damage than anything else, I'm going to stick with it. And I'm actually rather hoping that... Um, I'm rather hoping that this will give me the edge, um, making it more plausible to do this on a first uh, first playthrough than normally would be. Uh, because, yeah, this thing just gives me so much more attack power, but I'll have to switch against uh, enemies that absorb fire. You ready? You got all your arts and equipment set up just right? Sure. This one's for keeps. Good luck. Oh, I actually don't have them set up right. I have the Cronus symbol. So I need to switch that over uh, to the Miracle uh, thing. What can I say? Who knows that this level of melee even existed? I should be doing a Vincent Quest, but I don't do a pickup one. What can I say? Who knew that this level of melee even existed? Double the opponents in the 100-man melee! I present to you Paul Estrella's famous mysterious 200 band melee! <laughs> Whoever thought this up, no even thought this up, it ought to have been the biggest idiot in the universe! However, that idiot was a marketing genius! That's the kind of genius I respect! What Brass balls! A genetic checkhammer! He's gonna puke! And I have to say, I have so much respect for the idiots attempting to challenge this melee that it brings me to manly tears! And we have a challenger! Our challenger today comes to the guild, Brave Asperia! Let's hear it, folks, for legendary swordsman, Yuri! <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin! <laughs> no. 
The biggest uh, apprehension I have about this is fucking up late. Like, getting to, like, 170, 180, 190 plus, and goofing and having to start over. Because if I had, like, if I was doing this on an emulator with save states or something, I wouldn't really be that stressed. I can't say that I'm stressed, per se, but it's like, I don't want to die on, like, opponent number 193. All I can do now is try my hardest and see what happens. Here I go. Beloved Challenger, we will honor your spirit in death! Um... That ain't fine! I, I might win. <laughs> Four banditos. Not starting off all that exciting, but... The uh, way this is going to work, folks, final symbol. Occasionally restores TP and HP and TP by 3%. That was one of the ones that's show listed as being good here. Uh, Miracle Bangle better, I think. And, um... Yeah, um... It's going to be identical to the 100-man melee up until we get to that point, and then it'll be all new. So obviously, at this point, there's not a whole lot of challenge to it. This that move might not be a good move. It might it might just eat up too much time for casting for this mode. I'm not worried about running out of time with Yuri, though. I'm more worried about facing some boss that you were originally meant to take on with an entire party of four and getting juggled and killed some kind of way. And I was indeed warned that your one of your biggest irritations, and I, I didn't need to be warned. I read this on Game Facts, but I knew it from doing 100-man melee. Mages are a pain in the ass in this mode. Like here, I just... I made a big point of getting up to this one and still didn't get it killed. And I got hit with status ailment. Oh, I can't run because I've got weak... No, I can run. Yeah, status ailments are going to be a pain in the ass. So I'm kind of frustrated I got one of those already. I think you guys are dead. Like, I think I'm really going to kill you this time. I mean, I'm really not going to just defeat you and then move on. I, I call, I killed them. I call they're dead now. I will, um, I am trying to avoid wasting items. Uh, Panacea Bottle. I got 12 of them, though. No. No. Hey, we got an all Divide and uh, an Hourglass. You know, I'll probably be panicky enough by the end of this thing that I'll actually want to use those against the last boss. That was a miscue. I don't care about you, man. Not one bit. I mean, in theory, I care about you because Carol does, but that's about as far as it goes. General suggestion is to kill uh, underlings before you deal with bosses, so I guess I'll try to stick with that. At this point, Nan is not a threat by any stretch. However, I do need to remember when facing guys like this to... Um, the switch uh, accessories because getting hit with a petrified status ailment is instant game over here. I was wondering if I could quick check this. Okay. That's not going to work. So let's switch to. Switch to something with ice attribute, actually. Water is as close as we're going to get. Warful Sword will do it. Oh, but that's no good against you guys. But you know what? You guys can just blow yourselves up. That's fine. Don't think I'm in any status danger anymore, but at the same time, I'm also not um, using uh, specials. I'm just meleeing everything with regular old melee. I've lost track of what button you press to switch enemies. To switch targets, I mean. Sealed wave. You know, if I get start getting more status ailments, I'll have to do something about them. 
You guys are susceptible to this damage, huh? I would have thought like couldn't hurt you at all. I just want to kill this fucking flame bat guy. Then I'll switch back to the Abyssion and all will be well. It's just weird that, uh, like, select best weapon doesn't automatically bring you to Abyssion at this point, because it does so much more damage than anything else. So yeah, I'm really not, nothing fancy here, I'm just, uh, regular attacks. Those skunk guys, I think, might do, um... Oh, no, I never actually switched off a Chrono Symbol, so that's okay. Because I was talking about how I could now, but at the same time, I'm not using TP, because I'm just hitting stuff with regular attacks, so... I'm making ludicrously good time against uh, the first half of this thing. Yeah, that's great, Fancy. You're awesome. This is this is Abyssion. This is what I mean. This is so much easier because of Abyssion. This is what we we got by defeating the uh, third form of Duke was we unlocked the full power of the most powerful weapon for Yuri in the game, and sure enough, he's slaughtering people in mass. I have other skills and stuff that would periodically restore TP. Uh, but no, I think the big thing is I'm just not using TP. That would be why. I think it's because he's got the weak status ailment. You guys were my biggest irritation before. And you know what? I actually had a skill which prevents him from being staggered, which I had accidentally unequipped. Might be one reason why the 100-man melee was harder before than it should have been. Yeah, whatever. Jägermeister. Now we'll have a real fight. Yeah, whatever. So the acting commandant is just killing time here? I have an important mission. I watch and punish dangerous people. Like me. <laughs> hey, you're associating with a criminal like me, so I guess you're dangerous too. You just can't stay quiet, can you? Shut up and enjoy my rockin' theme song, Yuri. I think it's time for so no. Yeah, the bromance between these two, I have to say, it's kind of a... A nice change of pace from the way that rivals usually behave in these games. But they're pretty clear that these guys actually like each other. And yet it's not, like, for all the jokes I've made, it isn't really, like, over-the-top homoerotic, which you sometimes get in these games, and it creeps me out a bit. So we are past the uh, past halfway point. It will get tougher from now on, I have to assume. Uh, and if it doesn't, then... Any concerns I had about this thing were very silly. Ooh. Do blade murder in high school? Have I ever seen you guys before? Well, not blade murders. Okay. The music's getting pretty sweet, too. Firebird? Yeah, I think I've seen you guys before. I'm you. May not let me kill these. Well, there's more than Firebird and Penguins. May not let me kill them with the uh, fire type weapon. Or it might just do poor damage against them, but it still works. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what it's going to be. They take reduced damage against it, but it still kills them. Good enough. I don't feel like switching weapons if I don't need to. If it seems like I've got more uh, TP than I had before, one of these skills I switched was to. Increase that TP max. Yeah, I had a bunch of unspent skill points. I mean, can't blame me too much because I hadn't really encountered anything that required me to worry about making sure that I'd min max Euro for a long time. So I got a bad feeling that some kind of scary boss will be coming up soon. 
As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead... I don't have the FAC open in front of me. It's actually on my laptop, and the screen's gone into hibernate, and I haven't bothered to do anything with it. But um, this might be a mistake, I suppose. I'm going to go ahead and take a Panacea bottle to get rid of this weakness ailment, and I'm going to keep the um, Krona symbol uh, equipped for now, and I am I just have a hunch that when I finish this guy, a boss will show up. And I was wrong, but that's okay. Not a problem. Leaf bats, yellow ropers. I guess I'll scan the yellow ropers, sure. I suppose it's possible, theoretically possible, that those some of the enemies that I missed before will pop up in the 100-man melee as a threat, but I doubt it. Paincorn, Deathseeker, Skunky, I'm almost positive you've all been scanned in the past. Now you, little purple crystal guy, crystal spirit, don't know about you. You may have been an enemy from that crystal dungeon and you won't, so... Didn't need to heal, it's just one of the few area. I didn't really give Yuri a lot of area of effect type stuff. I didn't give him destruction field. I could switch that in the middle of combat. It's not that big a deal. Seagull? A spike seagull? Lord knows what kind of fascinating uh, status ailments these guys might be giving, but since I've... Not interfere. Oh, okay. Do not interfere with what? Time Traveler? <gasps> it's Doctor Who. He is not the guy that you're not allowed to um, scan, so let's scan him. He is probably a reference to a past Tales game. Uh, leave a comment if you know who he is. Bearing in mind that I'll read it and probably won't really affect me too much, honestly. Dow's Floss. Now, I happen to recognize that as... I will get an item that will teach me that skill when I finish this whole thing. Can't, it's actually an altered... I'll get an item which makes it an altered form of... Uh, what do you call it? Um, destruction field. No, yeah, you are pathetic, buddy. I'm sorry, I, I, I kind of feel like you were cheated out of the chance to be a badass. You got voice acting and everything, but you're doing like one hit point of damage per shot. So it's pretty clear that you... I'm way over-leveled for face of you. Sorry, bud. I'm sure you were a really cool villain in your own right, but uh, not today. Uh, Drillbeak, Tweeny, June... I feel bad. I don't have that many... Um, boys and Daggers, eh? Don't really have that many different... Um, Don't have that many different um, uh, magnifying glasses, magic lenses, whatever they're called. I can't scan every enemy ever here. I have to be kind of careful about using them. Who are you? They're Julies. That is not an enemy type we've come across before, I don't think. Kind of an kind of involved design for an NPC that's only going to show up here. Uh, ma'am. Sorrowful Queen of Darkness. Another enemy who's probably a major character in a previous Tales game. I'm going to try to take out her henchwomen first. And I'm going to completely miss. Yeah, Overlimit, that's fine. I'm trying to take you out, uh, lady. So stay still so you can die. She's doing some damage to me, I gotta say. She's over limit, so that's part of it. Uh... Okay, they were strong against. She's strong against that. It's okay. Still killed her. So these things are actually attacks. They are not enemies. Uh, I'm afraid I can. Uh, Greater Skunky. You know, I may not have ever faced one of them, but that's okay. I don't need to scan every enemy. I'll save it for cool bosses. 
who might be enough of a challenge that I need to be prepared to um, use elemental weaknesses against them. I'm Raptor. And he's the guy that you are not allowed to uh, use items against or he'll kill you instantly. So I think what I will do is kill everyone else present. So it's just one on one. And then try to uh, switch accessories. Oh, crusher my bones, folks. He is not happy with me. He's not doing that much damage, though. But yeah, he will automatically, apparently, KO you if you use items. And he's over on it, so that's not that good. Die, die, die a lot, die! So we are going to use the uh, Rebirth doll. Automatically resurrects us once KO'd. And then we're going to scan him, and hope for the best. He's already half dead, almost, so can't be too bad, right? Yeah. No items ever. Okay, well, apparently uh, we... Uh, apparently we're overleveled for this, because that was supposed to be like instant death, and it kind of wasn't. Uh, let's go back to the Krona symbol. I do like, they do tip you off to the nature of his uh, mystic art, though. That all, that all, that all you got. Down to our final ten here. You really shouldn't just take the time to dust off your outfit right now, I'm afraid. Him end. You know, again, these might be enemies that we've encountered before, but you know, this this these regular enemies suggest, yeah, you are probably either the final boss of this thing. Uh, yeah, you're the final boss of this thing, because I've got 196. The two X unicorns bring me to 198. The Piment, it's 199. Traitor to Heaven is the end of this this uh, whole deal. So this has been uh, easier than I thought it would be, but it could still go... Oh, he's not doing any damage. Say, never mind, this whole thing is... Get rid of the Spellcaster, because she could be a thorn on my side throughout this. He used first aid on himself. I should have prevented that, probably. All right. Um... I already magic lensed him, so I can see... No, I didn't magic lens him. I need to do that. Don't think he's got anything going on where I can't just magic lens him normally. Miracle gel, 60%. Milan shell, 30%. He's a Milan shell. And, um... Oh, man, he's already hurting. It would appear that I'm way over level. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I feel awesome. <laughs> well, that was a lot of nothing. Um, let's see what we get for it. If we get titles, it may turn out that I'm supposed to do this with everybody to get the titles. And frankly, that was so easy. I am confident that we could. I can do even better than this. Phew, that was a rush. C -c Congratulations! I, I I can't believe it! One, two, three, you got him, no we didn't. Come on, rap! Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed history in the making! A level of melee feels the possible, and a victory even fewer the possible! Yeah, it looks like uh, at this difficulty level. I mean, I don't feel like... I don't feel like I particularly need to go set it to a higher difficulty level to prove myself or what the fuck ever, but yeah, it, it, it just seems like with the... Um, with the uh, fell weapon and the best gear and being over level 100, there's pretty much nothing the game can throw at you. And even if you go into New Game Plus, 
you're going to be playing at normal difficulty unless you tell it uh, otherwise, so, yeah. And yet, what trials you must have endured to get to this level of skill! You have earned the right to have your name carved in the face of history! And that name is... Yuri! Yuri Lowell. Yuri! He's like, um... He's like Rusev. He lost his last... Or Cesaro. He lost his last name. Vince McMahon has taken it away. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in a huge round of applause for our champion, Yuri! Revolution is mystery. Earned the Dark Lion title. 200,000 gold. That's basically what we spent to go in. Erodoval, Barbados Ring, Deos' Cape, and a Shizel Necklace. Yeah! You did it! Hey, you actually look a little happy for once. Of course he's happy. Yuri defeated a lot of very fierce opponents. Yeah, for the first time, winning actually feels like something. Wow. That's the feeling that you I'm really so jaded. It normally doesn't you feel like anything all, to me. Yuri. Right. It feels like this means a lot more than the last time I won a tournament. Hmm. Well, it means twice Sounds as like much. You two are really getting close. How interesting. But stupid. Raven, what are you talking about? Raven, why do you always if have to creep things me, out? Old man, then you and me are getting kind of close too, you know. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so there you go. That was so easy that I'm thinking I could probably accomplish that with other characters. But it would be significantly harder. Uh, so you get a title. I'll tell you what, here's going to be the test of it. I don't really care about the Bunny Guild. I feel like we probably missed an item somewhere for the Collector's Book anyway, and I know we can't get the Monster Book. Those are the only three things I know we didn't get. So, if his new title gives him a new costume, and it doesn't. So there you go, that was the maybe I'll do it with other characters? Nah. I toyed with it just for a moment, but nah. We said what was going to happen, folks. 200-man melee with Yuri, and then we were out. And, as it happens, we're at like 27 minutes and a few seconds, so we are at the proper length for a video. It's like the video game gods themselves came down and said, You can stop now. I suppose it's possible that that title changed our standing with the Bunny Guild guy. So, uh, we'll go check with that out. I guess we should look at the items we got, too, but I don't even remember what they all were now. There was a, um... There was the Deos Cape. Changes the art destruction field to Deos Blast. Okay, so you don't even learn it. It's just, uh, it's not like a... Yeah, you actually have to keep it equipped, and if you do, then it gives you that. Barbo Barbatos' Ring, a ring that generally greatly increases physical attack, prohibits all item use. And uh, there were other things, too, and I don't remember what they were. Then if you really care, you can look them up. I should just send it now. I'm going to go talk to the Bunny Guild guy. And uh, <laughs> I think this LP will end with us standing face-to-face -face with the Bunny Guild guy. Locked in deep, deep shame of failure. Failure to sufficiently impress the Bunny Guild guy. He's like, hey... I just won the 200-man melee, an event that's never been held before because it was considered too dangerous. I defeated 200 opponents in a single fight. Look, We're like, look, yeah, but I oh wow, really? Ooh, let me see. We sure have fought a lot of different kinds of monsters. Wait a second, really? But it looks like there are still a few blank pages ah, left. Fuck. See, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know if I'll ever be able to finish it. Nan's you know, never gonna do you, buddy. It, huh? Right. That book is the product of all our battles together. That's right, Carol. You coy there. Yeah, right. Okay, let's work together on filling in every last page. Uh, no. Interesting thought. No. No. LP's over. Carol, you can't make me. You can't make me. Sorry. You guys can write fanfics about the first time that Carol and Nan, presumably a few years down the road start to really bond and really form a, a you know, whatever. <laughs> no. Sorry, your little scene with Nan. I, I, no. I, New Game Plus would be involved with that, Carol. No. 
Instead, we will go allow the Bunny Guild guy to give us the final word on whether or not we've been a success. See you again. Go out there and let the world know about the Bunny Guild. We could go talk to Sicily, let him tell us that we haven't inspired him. But you know what? We know the score, folks. We're done. Look at everything we've accomplished. We... We have in Carol a warehouse master. He's a warehouse master, folks. We have in Estelle a pretty but timid princess who's now going around wearing, like, High-heeled thigh, high boots with little lacy stockings and uh, bunny ears. Clearly, she's just a totally different person from the one we used to know. We have a dog who's known as the Great Boss, or whatever the hell title he actually got for uh, that. He, you know, he went from being man's best friend to the sinful sidekick to a Great Boss because he peed on every single section of the world. These are the kinds of adventures that we couldn't have, folks, unless we were in it together. I needed your support to get through all this. Everything from finding a shovel for some guy and thinking it wasn't the right shovel and then finding out it was the right shovel and that quest taking 90 fucking minutes to accomplish. We did that. I literally didn't realize Regay was Jaeger spelled backwards. We did. We had that together. We had a game full of, like, cutesy anime cartoon characters, which suddenly decided, hey, you know what, let's have Dine Watgors fucking kill himself, and the game treat that with all seriousness. <laughs> we had crazy tonal shifts beyond anything you'd believe. We had a combination of likable, fun characters, and uh, then characters suddenly acting completely out of character, so that you didn't even understand what the characters were anymore. We had... Uh, all sorts of neat fantasy compact uh, concepts, like scenes, settings, individual story beats that just kind of got thrown together in a blender and uh, somebody hit puree. And we came out with something that often didn't make sense, but was generally kind of fun. I'll say one thing for uh, the combat system in this. There are most of the Final Fantasy games I've played, the actual combat, like fighting enemies, isn't as much fun as this because this has real-time running around, you're actually engaging stuff. It's a little bit like, I guess, Final Fantasy XII actually had, um, well, it had, it, it's famous for a combat system where you could, you could program your characters well enough that they would actually fight for you and you didn't have to do anything, which is not really the ideal. But yeah, this, the game, it had engaging, fun battles, it had, you know, cute, likable anime characters. It had a lot of good stuff going for it. It had a lot of bad stuff going for it. And when you sit there with Draki the Dork guiding you through and seeing, I'd, prob I'd estimate that I saw like 95 plus percent of the content at least. It's got a lot of good, it's got a lot of bad, but the, the overall point I'm making is it's got a lot of stuff. And I don't know the exact video count on this because I recorded a bunch of videos last night. But at over 200 videos, I've had enough of Tales of Vesperia. And I'm thinking that you probably have had to. So without getting super long-winded like I did at the end of the actual Tales story, I just want to say one more time, thanks so much to everybody who did watch through some of this, most of this, all of this. Um, I'm not really thinking about this as the outro to a video on the 200-man melee that somebody might have watched. I do have a history of that, like, I fought Penance, and that got way, way more views than anything else my Final Fantasy X LP, because a lot of people showed up to watch that boss fight that didn't watch the rest of the LP. I think enough people have done the 200-man melee, nobody's tuning in to see that. So I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm picturing myself now talking to my loyalist viewers and subscribers, and just saying, hey, thanks. Uh, thanks for hanging out, uh, accompanying me on this RPG journey. My next RPG is probably going to be Final Fantasy X-2. I'd kind of hoped to hit 5,000 subscribers first, because Final Fantasy X is my 1,000 subscriber LP. Um, not that I'm asking you, hey, go out there and, like, make multiple f accounts and just do so, so you can subscribe to me and boost my subscriber count. But I, I'm like, if I don't do that for a while, it might be because I'm, I'm trying to wait till I hit 5,000, but... 
same time, I'm at like 4,500 and 48, I think. And the last time I checked my subscriber count, it had actually slid down by two <laughs> since the previous time I checked. I'm at the point where the gains and losses on a daily basis are incremental. You know, I don't advertise. I don't go out and... I don't have banner, uh, like, pop-ups where you can, like, subscribe, whatever. Don't do Twitter. Don't do any of that stuff. I'm just OP and having a good time, and I hope you guys had a good time watching. So, yeah. I said I wasn't going to get long-winded, but what am I getting at? Anybody who watched this thing all the way through, I would think by now, if you got 200 videos in, you must like my style. So, uh, stay tuned. Down the road, I'll be doing Final Fantasy X-2 eventually. If you didn't watch it, Final Fantasy X was actually my favorite LPG LP I've ever done. And there's a whole bunch of other RPG LPs on my channel, and I always love it when people go back and watch the old ones and comment, because it reminds me of how much fun I had playing them the first time through. The Tales of Asperia made, is now going into the books as one of those LPs where if I notice somebody commenting on a Tales video, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember when I played Tales of Asperia. That was fun. Because it's easy to remember the fun parts when the obligation to play 90 minutes worth of searching for a fucking shovel for the Guild of Digging Dudes is behind you. This LP is behind me, and it's behind you too, folks, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll tune in for further Mysterious JG LP adventures. Wish I could end on something as poignant and perfect as Garrus uh, calibrating his weapons, but I'm afraid I just don't have it, so... What would be the nearest equivalent? I don't know, just picture Raven saying something that's probably supposed to be pervy and humorous, but didn't translate well, and Rita hitting him, and... Do a nice fake laugh and call it a day. Bye-bye.